Earth and, and Shabbat Shalom everyone and we are really happy to, to gather in this way once again with friends from across across northern Bergen County and indeed across the country uh, mm -hmm. once again and uh, Rabbi Berkowitz I see I see you again it's Shabbat Shalom it's good to good to have you join us uh, here and we are going to, uh, I think, you know, everyone has gotten so good at muting themselves, um, but we will, we will ask everyone to, to remain on mute and so that, so that we can all hear uh, Cantor when she's singing. Um, and we will put many of the words of the prayer book up on the screens to, to screen share so that you can uh, absolutely sing out loud and read out loud with us and so that we might you know, all have this, this real-time uh, experience of Shabbat. And so let's, let's begin with one of our songs for Shabbat. Uh, we begin with the singing of Yedid Nefesh. Now, Yedid Nefesh, unlike some of the other songs that we sing, Yedid Nefesh is not a, it's not a psalm. Uh, it's not ancient. It is only medieval. So it's only several hundred years or, you know, four or five, um, you know, mm -hmm. describing God as, as Yedid means friend and Nefesh means, means souls. Here it says hearts, hearts delight. We might say Yadid a friend or a beloved. This is a really intimate, special kind of closeness that we are uh, invoking here with, with the divine. Um, and it's a really sweet, personal way for us to, to start Shabbat. So if, if anyone is, is uh, moved to leap like a deer, um, <laughs> that would be very much in keeping with Yadid Nefesh. <laughs> Our Torah portion this week is called Emor, and Emor is from the book of Leviticus. It is the most read Torah portion of the entire Torah. It's the portion we return to the most times in the course of the year. Now, it's not because it is the highlight of the Torah. Um, it doesn't have the Ten Commandments. It doesn't have you shall be holy or any of these sort of climactic moments. The reason we read Amor so many times is because this week's Torah portion has our Jewish calendar. This is the portion that tells us in the seventh month you shall have a day of shofar, a Rosh Hashanah, and a day of atonement, and you shall have a Sukkot and dwell in booths. And this is the Torah portion that tells us that in the first month you shall celebrate a Passover and have a Shavuot at the time of the harvest. And so for each one of those holidays, at some point during the holiday, we scroll the Torah to this week's Torah portion and more to read the instruction, the Torah's instruction that we should celebrate that part of our calendar. And more also includes the part of the calendar that we're in right now, the counting of the Omer. 
this week is this is where we read that you should count seven weeks of seven days 49 days and the 50th day shall be Shavuot that you shall bring your Omer your literal Omer the first fruits of your barley of your grain harvest to the temple in Jerusalem to give thanks to God for all of the sustenance all of the food that we have and so this is a this is a nice week to be aware of Jewish time uh, this week the the Shabbat of Emor is a, a nice time to just sort of recognize where we are in the flow of the seasons and also of our journey from Passover through the Omer towards Shavuot. And at the end of our service, we'll count together. But this is also, it's a special Shabbat for doing that count. We're fulfilling a mitzvah of the Torah, but not just any mitzvah. We're fulfilling a mitzvah of the Torah of this very week in Torah. Um, and so let's now... Uh, Turn back to Kabbalat Shabbat. Let's continue to to sing and share together. And we're going to we're going to keep things medieval. And we're going to go mm -hmm. from Yedid Nefesh to the hymn of welcoming Shabbat and join together in singing Lechadodi. <laughs>
this present moment in history has changed a lot about how we do Judaism and worship, of course, and one of the ways we see it is in the choreography of the service. Of course, when we're all together in person, there are lots of places where traditionally we stand up and we sit down and we bow and we do all kinds of things. Um, it has become our custom meeting virtually like this to say that if you are in a place where it is comfortable for you to rise and be seated, of course you are welcome to do so. If it is more comfortable for you to remain seated and elevate yourself spiritually instead of physically, of course, we welcome that now as well. And so with that, we rise together however we are comfortable to join in Baruch Hu. Where I sit in my house, I can glance out the window and see the sun has set, the sky is slowly darkening, the changing of the seasons, the changing of the time is upon us. And so the Ma'ari Varavim prayer brings that most thoughtfully to mind. Let's read the English together. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time and changes the seasons, and arranges the stars in their heavenly course according to plan. You are creator of day and night, rolling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transforming day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai Tzivaot is your name. Ever living God, may you reign continually over us into eternity. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on evening. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Aravim. We continue with the watchword of our faith as we join together in singing Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kivun Malchuto Le'olam Va'el If we've been standing, we can be seated and we'll join together in chanting Via Hafta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol meodecha v'hayu advarim ma'ela asher anuchi Mitzavacha, Hayom Alivavacha, 
Vishinantam Levanacha Vidivarta Baham Vishitacha Bevetacha Uvalachacha Vadarech Ushok Vecha Uvkumacha Ukshartam Leo Daya Decha Veha Yulet Totafot Vene Necha Uchtaptam Am Siso Betacha Uvisha Recha Lema Antis Giru Vasitem Nekomitz Votai Vitem Gidoshim Lelo Echem Ani Adonai Elo Echem Asher Utsehti Etchem Meeretz Misraim Lihiod Lachem Lelohim Ani Adonai Elo Echem Standing on the parted shores of history we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands and marching together. As we were preparing for services tonight, this next prayer, Hashki Venu, I read uh, in preparation and I read the words about uh, God sheltering us in peace and must be something on my mind instead of shelter in peace, I read shelter in place. <laughs> and I realized that the difference between shelter in place and shelter in peace is only one letter. It's just that L of place that can change to an E to become shelter in peace. And I thought all week long, we're so consumed with sheltering in place for work, for school, for things around the house, all that consumes us and makes us so busy as we shelter in place. Wouldn't it be nice on Shabbat to give it a try to shelter in peace instead and to take some moments of this next 25 hours of Shabbat and worry less about sheltering in place and be able to celebrate being able to shelter in peace, to be able to feel God's presence of peace beneath this Sukkot Shalom, this shelter of peace for us all. We join in a beautiful setting uh, asking for God to shelter us in place and to shelter us with peace. Mm -hmm. 
Rabbi Noah mentioned our Torah portion this week lays out for us each of the passages of time and our holiday, our festival calendar, and it includes as well that most important of holidays, the one that comes every week, our festival, our holiday of Shabbat. Let's join together in reading Vishamru uh, together in English. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. We continue now together with the words of Tefillah. We invite you to rise once again in whatever way is comfortable and spiritual for you, and we pray together. O oh God, open up my lips as I begin to pray. O oh God, open up my lips as I begin to pray. Adonai, sifatai tiptach, ufi agitehivatecha, Adonai. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohei avotinu v'imotinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Elohe Sara, Elohe Ripka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Lea, Ha El Gadola Yibul Manora, El Elion Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vikone Ako, Vizoche Haste Avot Vimahot, Umi Vig Ula Livne Vinehem, Leman Shemo Behava. Melech Ozeh Moshiach Magin Baruch Ata Adonai Magin Avraham Vezrat Sarah Ata Gibol Le'olam Adonai Mechayi Akol Atarav Lehoshiach 
מוריד הצער, מחכה החיים בחסד, מחיה אפו ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ברופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר. מי כמוך בעל גבורות ומי דומה לך מלך ממית ומחייה ומצמיח ישוע ונאמן אתה לחיות הכל ברוך אתה אדוני מחיה הכל אתה קדוש ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום יעלו חסלע. ברוך אתה אדוני, האל הקדוש. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. We continue with these words of blessing. a prayer of thanks for the holiness of this Sabbath day, and I invite you to please join me. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day, and may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, who makes Shabbat a holy day for us. And we conclude our tefillah, this section of our service, as we always do with Birkat Shalom, with our prayer for peace, remembering that This prayer for peace is not only the prayer for an end to war between nations, but also for smaller kinds of peace. Peace within our own country and our own state and our communities. Peace in our homes and peace of mind and peace of heart, wholeness for each one of us. And so I invite you to please join us as we sing it together. Shalom Rav. Mm -hmm. quiet and the peace of Shabbat evening. We turn now from the words of our tradition, from the prayers and the songs, 
to the quiet meditations of each of our hearts as we pause together for a few moments of silent prayer. Shalom, Bim Roma. For many people, Misha Berach, the prayer for healing, is something of an occasional prayer. There are times when there's someone in our life for whom we are praying, especially for healing of body or of mind or of spirit. But of course, in these days, Misha Berach, the prayer for healing, is a prayer that speaks to each of our hearts. Every single one of us now is connected to someone who is touched by this pandemic or by its effects. Someone who is in need of healing of body or for the many of us who are touched by grief at the loss of a loved one and are in need of comfort and healing. For each one of us whose lives have been changed and disrupted, who are in need of strength and support and renewal, that kind of healing and blessing. And so more than ever, we are aware that each one of us is in need of refuah shlema, a return to shalom. And this is the prayer in our service. There are many, really. But this is a moment for us to just focus on our need all together for healing as we look around this room, as we look around this screen, as we see the faces and even see the names of those who are here with us. 
with the recognition that every one of us and all those whom we are connected to are in need of the healing that we call upon from God, that ultimately we help to bring to each other. And so we invite you to please join us as we sing together this prayer, Misha Berach. Rabbi Noah mentioned at the beginning, it is in this week's Torah portion that we hear the commandment that we are about to fulfill, the counting of the Omar, Omer, day by day by day by day, as we make our way through these seven weeks of seven days. Feels like a lot longer this year, perhaps. A lot of days, a lot of counting, and maybe it's the counting day by day that helps us stop them from blurring one into the next. But we'll join in, uh, in just a second. So today, as the sun set, we finished day 29. We finished day 29, so we'll leave it up to you to do the counting for what our official night is this night as we join in counting the Omer together. Baruch Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher kishanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu asfirat ha'omer Hayom shloshim yom shehem arba'a shavuot u'shne yamim l'omer Today is 30, is that the right direction? Should it be like that? 30 <laughs> days, which is four weeks and two days of this counting of the Omer. Mitzvah complete. Give us a check mark for that one for today. We continue then uh, as we turn towards the conclusion of our service. Uh, we continue with Alenu. Uh, we rise in body or in spirit as we join together. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol l'atik d'ula l'yotze b'rishit sh'lo asanu k'goye aratzot v'lo samanu k'mishpachot adama sh'lo sam chakinu kahem 
who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, the heroes of our country, and those of every race and every nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we join in memory from our Kolderot community during the period of Shloshim, the first 30 days of remembering, we remember Michael Clayton McCarthy, brother-in-law of Robert Messing, Judy Goldman, wife of Arthur Goldman, Herman Seidel, father of Cami Boursier, Rosalie Greenfield Weiss, friend of Faye Sloan, Sarah Zaretsky, grandmother of Debbie Peck, Shirley Zweibel, grandmother of Jackie David, Janice Weissman, a teacher at our Temple Beth or Legacy Congregation and a former Director of Education at Legacy Temple Bethel. Rabbi Andre Ungar, Rabbi Emeritus of Temple Emmanuel of Paskek Valley, and Philip Lott, father of Steve Lott. We heard just today of the passing of Rabbi Sissy Koran, a rabbi and friend to many of us in the Reform community. As well on this Shabbat, we mark the yard site, the anniversary of the passing of Marvin Ash, Ricky Bagoli, Leon Berkman, Samuel Bernstein, Henry J. Kasdan, Samuel Cohen, Mary Donovan, Herman Firsty, Katie Fox, Robert Golub, Goldie Heftel, Joseph Harris, Abe Katzman, Ann Crane, Rita Lamel, David Lashton, Minnie Lefkowitz, Mildred Lewing, Robert G. Murray, Morris Penchansky, Isaac Sereda, Jean Sinowitz, Esther Smith, Ruth Spielberg, Jane Ulan, Donna Lynn Verp, Lily Wallach, Betty Weiss, Rose Wilson, Ernest Wolf, and Sadie B. Wyckoff. There are those whom you are thinking of, people who have been special to you in your life or whose yard site or period of mourning we are currently in, I invite you where you are to share their name out loud, or perhaps to hold them deep within our hearts as we remember those whom we are missing at this moment. We give thanks to God for the blessing of all of their lives. We give thanks to God for the blessing of their memories as we join together in words of Kaddish. Yitkadal ve'yitkadash shamei Rabbah ve'alma divra chiruteh ve'amlich malchuteh v'chayichon uv'yomechon v'chayeh d'chol beit Yisrael v'agalau v'zman kariv v'imru amen Hey Shme Rabba Mavarach Le Alam Ulome Almaya Vit Barach Vish Tabach Vit Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal Shme de Kudisha Brihu La Ela mean called Birchata Vishirata Tush Bechata Venechemata Damiran Bealma Vimru Amen Hey Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya Chaim Alenu Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen. Say Shalom Vimromav, Huya Ase Shalom, 
Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, al kol Yishvei Tevel, v'imru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and bring comfort to all who are bereaved among our people Israel, among all the world, as together we all say, amen. As we come to a, a closing song, uh, an Ose Shalom cantor, is that right? I got that right. Great. We'll join together. When we gather in the sanctuary, in a sanctuary, we have always some distance to traverse to get to Oneg Shabbat. I suspect that for many of us, our pantry, our kitchen, our shelves may be a little closer. Maybe one of these times when we do live, we'll have everybody go and get a, a cookie or something and come back and uh, do mozi, have a joint oneg all together. But we do hope that as our service concludes, you'll find something sweet. Uh, as we hope Shabbat is sweet. For those who are celebrating and being honored, happy Mother's Day to uh, you all. We wish you a, a good and fun weekend with that as well. And we conclude with the words of Torah with which our people have blessed one another for all these millennia. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha. May God bless you. May God watch over you. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha vichuneka. May God's face shine upon you and be good to you. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May God's presence be turned towards you and felt in your life and give you the gift of wholeness and contentment that we call shalom, true peace. And to that, let us all say, Amen. Amen. We'll uh, unmute everybody to say to say Shabbat Shalom. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.